I do have some information to share with you guys about how to prepare to be in the cold, this level of cold in Aspen. The first thing you need to know is that you need to dress in layers, three layers at minimum. One of the main things you need to know about skiing and is how to layer and how to dress properly. You need three layers. Your first layer is gonna be fleece lined long john, basically yoga clothes, long sleeve pants, long pants, and long sleeve shirt. And it's fleece lined and it stays close to your body. And then your second layer is gonna be a fleece jacket. And this is if it's really cold outside and that's your mid layer. And your outer layer, which you can see I'm wearing pink today. And that is your big heavy waterproof coat for skiing so the layering is a very important part of staying warm and staying dry and also moisture wicking because when you're out here moving around and skiing you sweat a lot and you do not want your sweat to meet the cold air so you cannot wear cotton you have to wear wool that's your second tip for keeping legit out here on the slopes is that you want your fabrics that you're wearing to be natural like alpaca or wool merino wool to be precise not cotton because cotton is not moisture wicking and then sweat plus cold air as you can imagine is not good so anyway those are your tips for today i will continue to share more tips about being in the cold weather being in aspen and on the mountain uh, in february which is high season and it's also can be very frigid temperatures but as you can see i'm basking in the sun today we're basking in the sun today Another thing I need you guys to know about Aspen is that traveling here is a part of the adventure. It's not a one too easy straight flight in, especially when you're coming during the winter season, like February, January, when the snow and the blizzards and everything are like are super heavy. It definitely took me a full day to get here and I did get stranded, quote unquote, in Chicago coming in from Atlanta. And so you have to be super flexible in your ability to move and shape when things don't go exactly your way. It's definitely a life lesson in how to keep your inner state stable and controlled even when the outer world is doing whatever it feels like doing. So I'll tell you a little bit more about what it actually took to get into Aspen. But once you get here, it's amazing. And you know, everyone knows that it's definitely an adventure to get here and so yeah um here's the bus i need to jump on to get home so i'll tell you guys more later after taking your skiing lessons the best thing you can do is go home and rest or hop into a jacuzzi because your body is definitely 100 percent sore and you are definitely using a bunch of muscles <laughs> that you're not used to using. But let me tell you something about these yoga classes twice a week and this body pump twice a week. It definitely came in handy when it came to my first skiing lesson. I'm about to walk back in the house and get in the jacuzzi. But anyway, yes, definitely hot tubs, hot tub time after you finish your day of skiing. Yes, guys. All right. Pro tip that you guys need to know is that if you are renting your gear and getting ready to ski, say on a Saturday, go after 3 p.m. the day before, like the Friday, go into the location to get you fitted for your shoes, your boots, your helmet, your poles, and all of that so that the next morning you can just grab your stuff from the storage. There's usually a storage in the location. So get fitted for all of that so that the next morning when you have to be out on the slopes early, it is smooth sailing. Hey, my love, how was your first day of skiing? Oh my gosh, it was so amazing. And how nice is it to be in the hot tub uh, right now? This is, this is mandatory. Mandatory. After, because the, the class was 10 a.m. to 3.30, so it was not like a couple hours, it was all day. Yeah. And you're definitely mentally uh, challenged. Man, physically, physically challenged. yeah. It's a mental game and a physical game. For sure. So you, you need to be able to balance those. Yeah, but a lot of people don't know about the hot tub afterwards. Well, let me be the first to tell you. Gotta do it. <laughs> you gotta do it. Yeah, you. got your zero beer. You got your zero beer. And you need to be in the hot tub after um, you, you do the slopes all day. It was yep. awesome.
So another thing you need to know about Aspen is that it's a, a little bit of a sleepy town. Of course, you can find your bars and you can go out and turn up. But for the most part, it's definitely a warm, welcoming, more of a sleepy town. Eat, find eating, fine dining, those types of things. Um, tonight, we're going to try to get into a little bit of a turn up, a little bit of a bar situation. So I will let you know how that is. But for the most part, my experience has been very athletic, adventurous. Other than that, it's very eating chill relaxed vibe very quiet even though folks are out and about it just seems much more quiet than i kind of anticipated which i kind of love a lot of things are closed on sundays and mondays so if you're making plans trying to go snowmobiling or go to a specific restaurant be sure 100 percent to check to see if it's actually open on sundays and on mondays aspen is serving serving the girls cozy realness okay <laughs> um pov we're walking to go see a DJ at Snow Mass, which is about half an hour away. Hi, and it's snowing, so we're walking through the snow looking for the Uber to get us there. Walking to Paradise Bakery now, so we'll see you in about two minutes. <laughs> Just coming back from a night out in Aspen, had a couple of drinks, so the doll is a little bit warmed up. But what you need to know is, is that it's very much like a European town where the music is early 90s, early 2000s, hip hop and all of that. The crowd is kind of mellow, um, but still out to have a good time, still out to have some a few drinks. It is absolutely frigid outside. So even if you're walking just a few minutes between bars, you definitely need to wear your long johns underneath your denim and you need like two or three layers underneath your bubble down coat to be able to just walk like two or three minutes down the road you know what i mean we just walked home probably took us about seven minutes to walk home and i'm so glad i layered properly also the drinks are pretty good at certain places you just need to pick your your uh, specific spots always look out for speak easies the one here in aspen is called bad harriet it's in the aspen times building right across from hotel jerome that's a pro tip that's a little you know insider tip for you guys who watch the channel who and jay engage the content and hooch is also the number one spot for nightlife here in aspen all right views from oh the gondola God. aspen mountain i think i could do it but yeah you just need a little nerve you know you yeah, just you need a little people yeah. just down here Yes. A little shams. Amazing view. Yes. Girls lunch on top the mountain. Okay. It's coming. It's coming. Fearlessness. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Supporting us out to room. Yes. 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 Cheers. Cheers. To the birth of Travel Alchemy. Mm. Official line. Yes. We're at about 11,000 feet elevation. We're at the top of Ajax, AKA Aspen Mountain. And we just had lunch. It's ice cold, but we're out here giving God thanks for this view because I mean, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. This is absolutely breathtaking and amazing sometimes you are working through things and you're trying to meet your goals and you're trying to make things happen in your life and you're not really sure if it's actually working out for you and you can't really see your awareness is not letting you set on the success that you're actually experiencing the thing about this is like i'm on the top of the mountain, of a mountain so it's kind of like even though certain parts of my life haven't fully materialized you have to recognize the abundance when it appears so look for it where it is instead of where it's not and for me right now to be able to experience this kind of view 
this type of elevation with people that I absolutely love. I recognize and I bring in my awareness to the prosperity and abundance that is raining down on me. And I thank God for it. <laughs> anyway, see your abundance and your prosperity where it is, not where you wish it was, not where other people tell you it should be. Recognize it when it appears to you in your life in the form that the divine has ordained for you. But collective, we didn't forget you. We're out here. Eleven thousand two hundred eleven feet up in the air. Cheers! Cheers. Clink, 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 clink. clink. clink.